Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I'm back here doing some videos. I was basically missing for about three weeks. My computer was completely screwed. I had to reform our do and reinstall all the kind of good stuff, you know. Um, yeah, the basics fun of it was it was ATI drivers and Win XP 64 bit. It's not kind of working well together, I can tell you. But hey, we always learn something new, never install Win XP 64, I just learned that. But here we go in the match, this is a week 3 match between 9 Legends and Sonoman. Two really good strong teams and we have Doctor who is commanding for 9 Legends. And yeah, with a good lineup here, Fana, Marco or Mokesi, S4, Enigmatic, Dux. Lots of good names and also in Saunaman you might know them. I think it was a season 13 winners champions and a little bit change of um, lineup here, but still a good old Peach team here. Gonna be able to command Tain and we have Leaper, we have Uf Ufa and Tur Tumos, who's that? Um, I need, really need to check some kind of stuff. But here we go, we have a pressure... Oh, a base rush. Okay, almost miss here. Nice base rush here coming from Sonoman. Doing a lot of damage here in the base, but n not really much lost here. What did they lose? The arm slab, I think. The armory is still intact, so the pressure team is still running around here. Just capping it on supply where they were kind of expecting a note. Did they kill a note? I don't even know. That's how bad I am. I'm completely out of shape. And here we see one first team kill here coming by 9 Legends. So the pressure team, I think, did they kill a node? No, they did not. So we have really a delayed Resonant drop. We only dropped Smelter node. And here is the pressure team down. Really nice um, team play there by Sonoman. Picking them off one by one. And yeah, I completely missed the positioning on all of this. I hope you can... Yeah, you will survive, guys. It's all okay. We're still in the matchup. Nice start by Sonoman. Completely screwing over here. Nine Legends team play. And I think Doctor might have been a little bit confused about what to do. Maybe a little bit rage going on in team speak. I don't know. Here we go. So we have still two rest nodes for aliens. Didn't lose a node yet. So delayed node. But here we have a next pressure team. Is going to smelter with a shotgun. Two LMGs back up. And it doesn't look like aliens will be able to defend this. You can see an absolute no skulks there. We should have a lurk coming up by now. Let me check a second. Yeah, Tumos is lurking or leaper. N no, Tumos is the lurk. We already have the was fast MCs. Three MCs are already up in the field. So I gonna expect a lot of silent skulks coming up and I really know Jiruki absolutely loves those fast MCs and fast silence. He's a super fan of that. So here we go. Three Skulks here for Enigmatic to kill on the note. Oh, not even one picked off. They're all escaping. And watch out. It's three Skulks. No, or not. There was... Oh, nice job here by Ducks coming from behind. Even with the having here the minimap open. I completely missed that. Nice job. Teamwork of those two players. Using their communication. And they're all going here straight for the Hive. Oh my god, what is this? Sp spawn camp incoming. This is strong marine play. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit confused here. Aliens didn't do that really bad here in the beginning. And marines only have four rest nodes. It's not like they control the whole map by the time. Um, all I need to do is yeah, kill the marines in the hive. Should be able to. They have the lurk here. There is a shotgunner, yes, but um, a little bit good team play. You can take him out. We have three skulks now alive. And as you can see, the marines know they have to fall out. The one little marine here, cooling assistance ducks, will be the first victim, I guess, or should be three skulks, and yeah, here he goes, and the lurk even helping, so no problem for the aliens. So they really need to buy, a, get get them out of there, so they can start picking up rest nodes all over the map. There's, but there's just one marine actually capping nodes on the one. Oh, don't do it, lot too much. Watch the shotgun he can aim. Oh, never mind, the shotgun is down, so. Spawn camp actually down or never really spawn camp since the lurk was alive the whole time. So really good job here by Sonoman. Defending this against really really strong plays, especially as Marines with good aim. And as you can see in the minimap, the storage D surface side not even capped and now aliens can start here picking off the resonance and flight control and mineral. And this map here. Um metal. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, it's really easy for aliens to bite nodes. As you can see, a lot of vents here going around all the map. 
uh, you can really abuse them I, if you have silence it's even much easier since you cannot be tracked down by sound where you are so you n really need motion if you can defend that effect efficiently or do a lot of pressure as Sonomen is trying to do so Skulks won't be able to wander around the map and bite notes where they can so we have again one shotgun in the field. Let me have a look on the upgrades. We have armor one by now, finally getting five nodes up in the field at a five and a half minute mark. So it's really delayed rest capping here for Marines. So aliens could do uh, get a little bit advantage for it, but they also have only one rest node, but they never drop more than one, as I think right now. So we should have here the fate is pretty much close now. Tate is fading at the moment and you first 47 uh, rest now. And I think he should go fade too. So two fates could be helping really a lot. And oh my god, they lost all the rest nodes. So if Jiruki and Peach with 24 rest they need one kill to be even able to drop a rest node in the main hive. And yeah, it all comes down here if the fate can really needs to completely destroy all of them. And looks like he's doing a good job. Let me spectate him. Yeah, the whole pressure team is going down. So now it is time here to yeah, actually drop rest nodes. I think Yufa really needs to drop rest nodes. It's really painful if you have 47 rest and you have to drop rest nodes because there's absolutely zero rest for you and the team. This hurts aliens a lot, a lot more than you can think of. Even if it just drops two rest nodes and cooling and supply way, they will be totally cut off from the second half for a long time by now. So, or a second fate, whatsoever. Oh, Tain is getting caught here, a little bit blocked, but he can survive with... No, 300 HP is impossible. Can't be. So he is healing. I cannot see the health bar here on this in HLTV. Unfortunately, but I think he was above 100 HP or maybe even lower, just from the feeling I have. Even though I didn't see. Catch the whole situation here. And yes, Sleeper, you really, you guys need to bite more resonance right now. We have still five. Yeah, it's five resonance surface is going down. So overall, a good job. And Marines really love to do the pressure thing here. I'm trying to do more and more damage and we don't see oh my god the lurk just flew into the shotgun into LMG so it was kinda unlucky here so can at least see no no one can drop a node we really need a node here for aliens or two or this game will be over really soon if we have absolutely zero income this is uh, horrible at least to say so marines are really doing a lot of pressure here I'm kinda surprised how efficient they are, especially on metal, I think. Metal is kinda a little bit more easy to fend. You have lots of vents here around. Um, but yes, so Tain is trying to do the best as he can. He's getting low and there he goes. So the fate is down. Wow, a nice job here. And go with one knife. No, unfortunately not, but really good job here. Um, but yeah, what can you do as a fate in that moment? You have to play more and more risky. I kind of repeat myself a lot there. And here's the game. It's pretty much over. No rest. Now we got finally the rest now redropped here in cooling processing. Um, is it by Yufa? No, he's still trying to save for Hive or Freight. I think it might be a little bit too late. It was just waiting for either Jiruki or Peach needed to get a kill, a single kill. So they get rest for the kill and be able to drop the rest now with 24 rest each. Uh, kind of lucky thing. They waited over more than one a minute, I think. Absolutely no income because of that. I think Yuffie should have just dropped two rest nodes there. I don't know. Or they would just die instantly. It's really hard to chill. Even as a spectator right now, what would have been better as Marines are doing really, really strong pressure here. They keep going and keep going to cooling processing. And without the lurk now, this is going to be so, so super easy for them to yeah, just spawn cam. There's no fate, no lurk. So this game is over right here since a gorge and two skulks shouldn't be able to cut this. Um, even though they're getting here one down. Nice job. <laughs> But yeah, still, nevertheless, this game looks pretty much decided. So, um, good start opening here by Nine Legends in Metal, in the first map here of this week three matchups. And of course, I have to 
cast a lot of more games and also I want to cast Division 2 games. There are lots of interesting games there. I not kind of want to focus on the same teams over and over. Also want to cast one of the new teams of course. Um, the American teams who are not that long in NSL. I have a little lag here on my computer. I don't know why. What the f Okay, here it goes. No problem. And yes, um, I was about to say that is that, but yeah, it, I think it's copyrighted by now, you know. And here we go, just waiting for the F4 or something. Um, maybe you for one to try to fade for the fun here. But as you can see, it's clearly gone. And kind of missing what I tried to say. Yes, of course, I want to um, cast more Div 2 games and try to come back in this. Uh, my settings are a little bit screwed. I think the fraps is not doing the same as it was before. I don't know. But hey, here we go. Um, main thingy, it is working for the moment. I'm back to here and I hope you guys gonna enjoy it. So stay tuned for round number two in this matchup between 9 Legends and Sonoman. I'll be back and make sure to subscribe, guys.